Israel's atrocities against Palestinians in the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank have horrified the entire world. Israeli forces killed dozens of Palestinians this week as they were peacefully protesting against America's relocation of its Israel embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem al-Quds. But why is Israel not giving even a slap on the wrist for its deadly use of force against Palestinian civilians? It's all because of full U.S. diplomatic support for anything Israel does. An instance of unwavering U.S. support for Israel occurred this week. America used its veto power again to shield Israel. It blocked the adoption of a draft U.N. Security Council resolution that would have demanded an independent investigation into the latest killing of Palestinian protesters. The U.S. has used its veto power dozens of times to protect the Israeli regime. It is clear that the reason why they do not want a UN probe is simply because um, there is no evidence that Hamas has been involved in these demonstrations. This is a, a yearly thing that happens not just in Gaza but also in the West Bank where they, uh, they commemorate the, the Nakba and they protest the occupation. Uh, and, but given that this is the single desperate line that Israel has um, to explain away this situation, Israel does not want to be put in a position where they have to essentially confess to something that's their fault. Later during a UN Security Council session, almost all diplomats had tough words for the Israeli regime. But America's ambassador to the UN defied all criticism. She went so far as to hail Israel's response to the Palestinian protests. No country in this chamber would act with more restraint than Israel has. The United States has been Israel's closest ally for decades. But ties between Washington and Tel Aviv are especially warm these days. U.S. President Donald Trump makes no secret of his determination to back whatever Israel does or wants. Observers believe Trump's decisions have further exposed the depth of Israeli influence in U.S. politics. The White House's intensified favoritism towards Israel has, however, delivered a severe blow to America's image as a mediator between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Trump's policies have left no doubt among the Palestinians that they can no longer trust the U.S. Popular support for the Palestinian cause has been on the rise worldwide. Over the past days, pro-Palestinian activists have organized rallies in many countries. there is a much more confident voice for BDS against Israel. You see an increase in uh, BDS uh, on social media and elsewhere, um, but now you're starting to see it on a more political, on a nation state level. So for example, just a few days uh, earlier this week, you see Norway declare a boycott of Israel to be legal. That's a massive blow because it means that it's going to set a precedent for other European nations as well. Demonstrators around the world are disgusted by the fact that the UN has failed to force Israel to end its atrocities. The protesters are trying to push their governments to take a stronger stance against Israeli rights violations in Palestinian territories. As Palestinians living within the U.S., as well as others non-Palestinians living within the U.S., we recognize that the United States plays a very particular and special relationship and role with the state of Israel. And everything that's happening right now to the Palestinians are happening um, basically through the support of the U.S. Popular movements around the world have helped raise awareness about the decades-long Israeli occupation. Israeli crimes have gone unpunished for decades, but Palestinians hope growing popular support for their cause will one day make a real difference. <laughs>